Take it out. Take all this chicken out. Mm. Look at that, guys. Mm. If you guys want to take a bite, go ahead. You can take a bite. Go ahead. You know you want it. You know you want it. Go ahead and take a bite. Daddy? Well, <laughs> welcome back to the Bonnie Hawkins Shout on today on the channel. You will see me as I prepare this uh, this delicious uh, deep fried chicken from start to finish. You'll see the beginning right on up until the end until I finish it. Uh, and then followed by that, uh, no, 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 we're not finished yet. By that, uh, followed by that, you will see me as I have to, now I didn't prepare all this chicken, right? So now I'm going to have to eat it all. So, I mean, I'm going to have to eat it. And that's right, I'm going to come right before this camera. And I'm going to eat this chicken right in front of you. So you may not want to miss that. So continue to stay tuned for this on this channel for this um, video followed by another video where you will see me eat the <laughs> eat the chicken right in front of you <laughs> anyway so here we go we're getting started right now again welcome back to the Bonnie Hawkins channel God bless you all today I'm going to be uh, uh, deep frying some chicken um, I'm gonna double that I'm gonna double dip the chicken um, okay so here's the flour okay Add the chicken pieces. And you ask, why are there so many chicken pieces? Well, guess what? I'm hoping to do a, a milk bomb, a milk bomb to somewhere within this video. So you, once we get it set, uh, set up, you're going to probably want to watch it to see where I actually do the milk bomb. When I do the milk, the milk bomb, then um, you guys are going to be... Uh, and for a treat because I'm going to let you share in the milk bomb with me and you're going to be able to eat as well along with me. So God bless you all. This is Bonnie Hawkins. So let's get started. Okay, first we got our flour mixture and again we got all of our chicken pieces here. We got our egg batter for double dipping. Okay, double dipping the, uh, the egg. And the uh, the seasonings we're going to be using is going to be the garlic powder, the seasoned oil salt, I mean the seasoned salt, <laughs> uh, the Obey, the Obey seasoning, and pepper. So those are the four ingredients that I'm going to be using in this. So right now what we're about to do, we're going to see bits and pieces of it because I'm going to get ready and take a few pieces of the chicken. I'm going to put it in this pan, on this pan here. I'm going to probably do, let's say, six pieces at a time. We might be able to put, no, we're going to do six pieces at a time because we're using a smaller pan today. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to do the first one or two, and then the rest of them I'm going to do off camera because once you've seen chicken is cooking, you don't have to see the next batch go and the next batch go and so forth and so on. But anyway, so here we're going to go. We're going to do put the, the the seasoned salt, the obey seasoning. the garlic powder. Okay. And we got to do the same thing on the other side. Flip them over. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay. So we're going to get the Everything we put on the other side, we're putting on the other side. The garlic powder. Season, um, obey seasoning. Pepper. And seasoned salt. Okay. Alright, so there we go. And I'm going to heat up my 
my uh, pan over here, my pot over here. Well, okay, the first thing I'm going to do is move this chicken out of your way. You don't need to see this now, right? Not in the camera range while I'm doing doing that. All right, so we're going to move this extra chicken back here because we're going to do that later. Okay, and now I'm going to do, getting ready to put the first, let's do this in a little thing here. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we are going to put the, um, each piece of chicken right there in the flour mixture. There's nothing. I didn't do the, um, sometimes I'll put a little extra, I'll put, uh, season my flour as well. And I meant to do that, but I didn't do it, so it's okay. You don't have to do it. You, you can season the chicken. You can put a little seasoning on it afterwards if you like. Okay. But sometimes I do put flour, I mean, put the same seasoning mix in my, um, and my flour. Okay, my mixture here. Okay. Normally I would do that. So I think what I'm going to do, it's not too late if I want to do it. I know I've started putting that in there. But I think I'm going to because somehow if you do it like that, you end up with the, you'll be able to taste the, uh, your seasonings beyond the, after the chicken is done. put all the same mixtures in there. And that I did, like I said, I meant to do that before I even put these, this in here. But this is okay, because I can flip it over like this. <clears throat> okay. Alright. And now, that's a single dipping. If you want your chicken just regularly fried, this, is, this will be good enough. But no, 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 not me. I want mine. I want the double dipping extra crispy chicken. Okay, so I've got my batter right here. This is just egg yolk. This is an egg batter. The full egg and just stir it into a little right there like you see there. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to take that spoon out, fork out, put it right there out the way. Okay, and now we're going to do the double dipping. And here we go. Take the chicken. Now you see, this is how the chicken look right now. Okay, you can see how it looks right now, right? Okay, it's just regular. Okay, and I'm going to double dip it. And then I'll show you the difference. I'm double dipping by putting it in the... All this, all this, uh, um, this egg yolk, all it does, some people just use a little milk or other things. Some people use sour cream or milk. Uh, I mean, sour cream, milk, whatever you, however you call it. And then... It, Excuse me. And, uh, okay, so now you got that, right? And now what we're going to do, we're going to go in here in this flour mixture right here, and we're going to double dip. This is the double dipping part, and this is what put the crispiness in the chicken. Okay. Some people say they do theirs two or three double dips. Well, what's happening on how crispy you want your chicken? Okay. Now, right here, you'll be able to see the difference. Here's one that has not been double dipped. Okay, right here. That's one that has not been double dipped. And that's the one that's been double dipped. You see that crispy? See the crispiness of it? The difference right there? Okay, that's what I want. Sometimes I do the single dip, but I want the double dip, so I'm going to double dip. I got the double dip on that one. So what I do, stick that on the plate. And let you see it even better. before the double dipping and after the double dipping. Okay, so we're going to do the rest pieces just like that. There we go. The batter mixture. I mean the... There. And you put that one in there. I'm going to do all, them, all the rest of them together. Because this stuff is sticky. Your hands get sticky. <laughs> I do them all. Okay, put that one in there. I should shake some of that off. Uh, what you call them off of that? 
allow her a little bit of the, uh, now you can do that, it can allow a little bit of the, that, um, egg, egg yolk batter too. Okay. I think I got one more piece of this and then one more piece to do. Okay. And once I do these, I'm going to put these in the pan over here and I'll show you a little bit of that. And then, let's see. Okay. There you go. One more piece that's in here. That needs to be done. I mean, neat, yeah. Okay, so here we go. So that takes care of that. Now, okay, now what I'm going to do now, you see I've gotten all that now. I don't need this anymore. It's this, uh, it's this, okay? As we did the first piece. Okay, so we got the first piece, as you've seen. We've already did that piece. And now we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing with the rest of these. Okay, this flour. Okay, done that, that one on the plate. Flour. That one on the plate. Flour. That one on the plate. Flour. That one on the plate. And this is the last one for the batch that's going to go in first. Which will probably be the batch that I end up, <laughs> I end up doing my, um, little neck bomb with. Okay. Because I'm cooking for my entire family. That's why you see so much, so much, uh, chicken over there. <laughs> I'm not going to eat all that chicken. That's for my family, you know. I got to eat that. So all of this chicken has been double dipped. And there's a total of six pieces here. And when I do my milk bomb, bug, bug, however you pronounce it, I probably will eat at least, I don't know, maybe half of these. I don't have a big stomach to eat a whole lot like I see a lot of uh, a lot of people do. But I, on the milk bug, but I'm going to do a couple of them. How about that? All right. So anyway, so let's go over here now to the, the, going over here now to the stove okay and we're going to pause you if the chicken is uh, the pan is ready to receive the chicken and so what we're going to do we're just going to sprinkle a little flour in there if it sizzles to the top then you know that the chicken is ready okay so let's just do it like that and okay now if you can see here we go so now we're ready to put the chicken in Guys, ready? Here we go. See that? That chicken is ready. That pan is ready for that chicken. Okay, I'm going to try to get all six pieces here in this batch. One more. Try to make room. Okay, so all the chicken now is in here. So now we're going to let that chicken do his thing for the next 20 minutes or so. Okay, because there's most of those are bigger pieces. So I'm going to allow the video for some of this, and then after that, I'll take it off and just pause it and come back when it's near, um, near ready. Okay, so that's what we got going on right now here at the Bonnie Hawkins Chicken. Uh, <laughs> Bonnie Hawkins Chicken. <laughs> we got Bonnie Hawkins Shadow. We have uh, we're frying up some, be frying some chicken here. Now you want all your pieces of chicken. To be at the, you know, nothing to be seen above the grease, you know, because that's how you tell when you got too many of them in there at one time. So everything has to be at below the grease. And during the cooking process, uh, when it starts to float up to the top, um, you kind of like to know that okay, this chicken is ready. But I go and I, I, I usually go at least 20 minutes on the bigger pieces. And 20 minutes to half an hour, really, if needs be, on the bigger pieces. And uh, I got my, my heat on medium. Let me point it to it with my, with my thing here. I got my heat on the medium burner. Just about on medium right there. 
Okay, and of course, that's that's a good temperature. You can know. But anyway, so we got that cooking. So how are you guys doing out there? We hope you all having a beautiful day, beautiful evening. And I hope you had a beautiful New Year's. And you know, the whole entire year is a New Year, right? So. Okay, the chicken has been there for a little while. Now we're going to just check it out and see what's going on here. Yeah, it's cooking good. But I can feel the weight of it, you know, when you can tell the weight after you've been cooking these frying chicken for a while. And you can tell the weight of it by the weight itself, even if you do see the brownness and crispiness uh, of the skin and whatnot. Uh, you can tell by lifting the chicken by the weight of it, whether it's, it's uh it's fully cooked. And this one still has some weight. All of these have weight to it. Because these are bigger pieces of chicken. So we're going to leave these in there a little longer. Okay. But this is what we're looking for. We're looking for um, making sure the weight of the chicken when you're picking it up uh, to turn it. If you use one of these, this is good. Because then you got, you know, this has no weight to it. So you know whatever weight you put on it, it's going to come from this. No, this has no real weight. Weight, you know what I mean. A lot of weight. So you can kind of tell. But all these chicken has that extra weight or this, you know, it's not done. So that's something you may want to consider when you are, when you're deep frying, you know, chicken as well. Not just saying that it's getting brown, but the weight of it. And some people even taking pork eggs little um, temperature gauge in there. I don't do that. I mean, I deal with turkey, and I, if I do a whole chicken, I'll do it with the whole chicken. Or if I have a real thick chicken breast or something, I may do it with that. But, um, but with this, I can tell. Now, that's been in there for a little bit. That's been in there a total of 12 minutes. We're going to leave it in there for, we're going to check it in about 5 or 10 minutes. And by that time, it'll probably will be, be ready. So I also consider the time, the amount of time that I put it in there versus the weight of the chicken, I mean the thickness of the chicken and uh, and whatnot. Because a lot of things were brown and you say, oh boy, that looks good. But then when you go to, if you don't leave it in there long enough, especially if it's bigger pieces of chicken or whatever it may be, it doesn't have to be chicken, it can be bigger pieces of other meats as well. Um, you kind of keep all that in consideration in mind when you're cooking. Okay, for home cooking, especially in a restaurant, well, they do it a little differently, but this is how I do stuff here on the Bonnie Hawkins uh, channel. <laughs> okay, and my household, this is how I, I consider if something is done or not. Okay, alright, well, we're going to get off of here again and let this cook a little while longer. And we're going to come back at you again. Shortly. Guys, um, I got my other batch right here waiting for me. <laughs> my other batch to go in right after I take this, this batch out. This also is, is a double dipped. Uh, chicken is double dipped. And uh, I think this chicken is ready now, but I'm going to double check. Time-wise, it should be ready, but we always check the... Yeah, yeah, it's light, it's light, much light weighted. So it tells me that this chicken is done. Look at it, guys. Don't that look good? Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. Boy, I tell you. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, we're going to take it all out here. Here's some more. Let's take it out. Take all this chicken out. Mmm. Look at that, guys. Mm. If you guys want to take a bite, go ahead. You can take a bite. Go ahead. You know you want it. You know you want it. Go ahead and take a bite. Mmm. All righty. Okay. Then we're going to take the rest of this chicken out so we can put the other batch in. Okay, there you go. Right there. Yeah, this chicken is just just, just the weight of it. I can tell that it's, it's done and it's not overdone. It's just perfect. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Yep, you guys go ahead and enjoy yourself. Here we go, right here. Y'all can be enjoying it while I'm taking it out. But you might want to let it cool down some first, okay? Mmm. Okay. 
All right, and that's the last piece of that batch. Okay. Okay, and now we're going to... We got another batch coming up that we got to put in there. But look, this one is ready. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Look at that, guys. Oh, my God. Boy, I'll tell you, when that, when I get a hold of that, start doing... When I do my mukbang bag, I just might eat all six pieces of these. Now, this next go around, we're going to go ahead and put the other in. Okay, we're going to move this out of the way. Now, I got to shift things around this chicken is going to, this chicken is ready. There we go. Get another look at it, guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Let's hold one piece up. <laughs> okay. Got to get a little thumbnail here. I'm not sure if this is going to be my thumbnail or my next batch, but whatever. Anyway, here we go. So that's the first batch. Okay, now we're going to put the second batch in the same thing. Okay. Okay. I got seven pieces on this one. I probably should add a little more grease and allow it to, to, to grease the heat up. Because you know each time you cook something, some of the grease is getting absorbed in the chicken when you cook it. So that's why it's important to allow your chicken to, your meats to kind of drain a little bit. Okay, so now that's my second batch in. Okay, my uh, second batch of chicken is coming along just fine. Um, it's been in for a little bit, and now I'm going to leave it in here. And uh, try to make sure all the pieces are evenly cooking. That's fine. The first batch is, as you can see, I've already done, and of course, my husband he had to come in and start start eating out of it right away, as if he couldn't wait a little while longer. We ate a late lunch, so but he was hungry. He loved it. He loved when I fried the chicken. So, but anyway, all right. So I will check back at you guys in a few minutes. Okay. All right. And after this batch, I got one more batch that goes in, and then I'll be done. And we'll be ready to have else of a little a muck ball, a muck ball. Okay. All righty. This is Bonnie Hawkins. We'll check you out again in a few. All right. Well, okay. So we got the two batches. I got the second batch okay. done. There it is. Isn't that? Oh my God, that is so beautiful. Yeah, and this is what's left of the first batch. <laughs> my husband came in and helped himself. Okay. And um, so now we're going to do the, the final batch, which is this one. I added a little more grease to the pan here. So, and uh, but the temperature is ready to receive the chicken. So, here we go. The last batch. batch. So now we got our final batch of chicken in there and as you can see again we um, that batch is those two batches are done. And now this is the last batch. Okay. And it looks like this chicken is ready. 
It's been in there longer than it needed to be. And this is my last batch of chicken. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of space on my camera. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do too much with the filming now because I'm running out of space on my camera. But we're going to run it out. We're going to run it right on out. <laughs> How about that? Okay. So that chicken is ready. Mmm. Yeah, it's the last batches, guys. There's three batches of chicken I cooked. Yeah, and my husband, he already helped himself, and everybody's ready. I'm ready to eat. Yeah. And, um, I'm supposed to be doing this little milk, milk bomb, my milk, milk bomb on my next video. <laughs> How about that? All right, so God bless you all. I got my chicken all cooked, and two batches right here or three actually because I put those in with that and that's for you good night well this is Bonnie Hawkins and this concludes this video if you would like to see my milk bomb where I go in front of the, the cameras and eat the chicken and also have other characters interact in there uh, then you need to uh, check the, ch uh, the video that says milk bomb and again, we'd like to thank you for watching the Bonnie Hawkins channel.